So this is the third time I'm recording this video now. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie, it's because the first two recordings, my hair just looked absolute shit. So yeah, I couldn't upload that. I just didn't want to upload it. I'd rather just look ugly wearing a hood. So that's what I'm gonna do for the, this video. Channeling my inner Eskimo. Releasing the spirit bear upon the evil doers. We're chasing the easy life. So I get asked this question quite a bit and that question is where is the best place in Las Vegas to try out fragrances or where in Las Vegas can you find good fragrances to test out or rare fragrances to test out and that's what I'm going to be answering to you guys today. Before we begin the video I have to say Las Vegas is a pretty good place to find fragrances. I mean it's probably in the top 5 best fragrance place in all of USA. Number one being New York, of course. I heard Florida was pretty good, California is pretty good, but Las Vegas definitely in the top five for sure. There's loads of fragrances here, especially the exclusive line, the niche line of each of the designer brands. You can find loads of them here. And I actually have them all written down right here to share with you guys because I just can't remember all of them. There's just so many stores. So we're just gonna go down this list. I'm gonna tell you guys all the stores you can find fragrances here in Las Vegas. And I'm gonna tell you guys the major niche brands or the major designer brands that you can find at those places, okay? Let's jump right into the biggest one first, and that is the Fashion Show Mall. The Fashion Show Mall is located right across the Wynn and Encores Casino. You really can't miss it. It's, it's just a really big thing with a giant, like almost like a flying saucer or a surfboard up top. You really can't miss it. There's loads of stores there, so we're just gonna go down the list. The first one being Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue have a lot of assortment of designers, which we don't really care about. The Niche brands and exclusive that you can find there are by Killian, McQueen Fragrances, Longcom Fragrances, Tom Ford's Private Blend, Berlan, Victor and Rolf's Magic Collection, that's the exclusive line for Victor and Rolf, Salvatore Ferragamo's Niche line is also there. I think I'm forgetting one or two of them, but that's the main thing that you can find there off the top of my head, so that's already a lot. The next one at Fashion Show is Neiman Marcus, so you can find loads of niche brands over there, namely Maison Francis Kirkjean, you can find Creed, you can find House of Sion, you can find Atelier's Cologne, you can find the exclusive line of YSL, you can find the Armani Privé line, and also again, the Tom Ford Private Blend. These are everywhere, man, the Tom Ford, they're literally everywhere. I think that's all the line. Oh, and you can find the exclusive Van Cleef and Arpel as well. That's also at Neiman Marcus. There's also some assortment of Memo Paris and Roja Dove, although a very small collection of those ones. There's some Hermes fragrances, but there's, those are just generally designers. Oh, I almost forgot, there's also Aqua de Parma. Next location inside Fashion Show Mall, we have Nordstrom. You guys already know Nordstrom has assortment of designer fragrances, but what you can also find at this Nordstrom in particular are Le Labo fragrances, Perfumes de Mali fragrances, Aqua de Parma fragrances, some more niche brands, but most importantly, the Mugler fragrances, the new Terry Mugler cologne line that's out right now that is available at that particular Nordstrom. So you can go check them out there. There's little niche brands here and there as well that I really can't remember, but that is the Nordstrom. There's the woman's side. Also in the back, if you walk all the way to the back of the Nordstrom, you'll find the men's side of the cologne collection, which is not too impressive, honestly. The woman's side has all the niche. For some reason, they group all the niche fragrances on the woman's side. I would never understand why. Besides those stores, inside Fashion Show Mall, we have Dillard's, Macy's, and Sephora. These places, you guys should already know what you can find there, so I'm not going to touch too much on that. It's the same selection you can find pretty much anywhere, to be honest. All right, next one, we're going to talk about the Venetian Hotel, arguably my favorite place to go. I film loads of videos there, and there's tons of fragrances to be found at that hotel. Let's start out with the exclusive first. We have Bottega Veneta, you can find their whole niche line there. There's Guerlain, you can find their whole niche line there as well. Besides those two, there's also Barney's New York. And Barney's New York is just a, it's a niche heaven. You go in there, tons and tons of niche brands, big and small. To name a few, there's Frederick Mall, Nasumato, Sir Sultan, Le Labo, Arquise, Tizian Terenzi, Byredo, Atkinson, Wilhelm Perfumery, and loads and loads and loads more. It's just tons and tons of niche fragrances. So you guys can go there and check it out. If you're a niche lover, you can't miss Barney's New York. It's a really, really good place to go check out niche. I love that place so much. I actually bought three or four fragrances myself from that place, so lovely service. I always loved it there. So yeah, check out Barney's. Other than that, the Venetian Hotel, I think that's about it. Oh, there's a big Sephora at the Venetian Hotel. Um, the selection there is not too different from regular Sephora's, to be honest, which is kind of surprising for the size of the Sephora that it is. It's very massive Sephora, but it's just the fragrance department of it, it was kind of lackluster. There wasn't anything too special about that particular Sephora. So just a wider selection of designers, some niche, but nothing too crazy. Next, we have Caesars Palace, and this one is also my other favorite place to go. Tons of boutiques here, so let's get right 
right into them. There's Crete Boutique. If you guys want to visit the Crete Boutique, they have every fragrance here. Even the old one, the, the green bottle, I forgot the name of it already. That one's more rare. They also have it there. Um, besides Crete, there's Chanel Boutique, there's Dior Boutique, there's Louis Vuitton. You can find their fragrances there. There's Salvatore Ferragamo. You can find Uomo Signature over there. There's also Emergido Segna. You can find their niche line over there. Just tons and tons of exclusive. There's also Gucci, but no one really cares about Gucci fragrances, so nah. Next location, we have the Bellagio Hotel, and the Bellagio Hotel has one very interesting exclusive line, that is the Hermes exclusive line. If you wanna try Ombre Naguilé and all those other fragrances in that line, you can find that at the Bellagio. Bellagio also has the generic lines that you find everywhere, meaning the Chanel and Dior boutiques. Chanel and Dior and Tom Ford are typically at almost every single hotel you can go to, so these three are very common. But what do you find unique at the Bellagio are the Hermes. We're almost done now, two more locations to go. The next one is at the Cosmopolitan. There's a store called Skin 62 or Skin 52. One of those two, I just can't remember the name, but there are some niche fragrances there, namely the Amouage, the Montserrat, Ateliers Cologne by Killian and Creed. I think there's one or two more brands there, but yeah, Montserrat is new, they just added that. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, Timmy, why don't you review Montserrat fragrances? I will, I will now. I'll go check them out at Skin 62 or Skin 52, whatever they're called and I'll let you guys know about it. So that's the one place at the Cosmopolitan. Lastly, 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 we have the Crystal Mall in front of the Aria Hotel. They have a lot of exclusives there, namely the Prada niche line and the Dolce & Gabbana niche line. These two lines are only found in Aria's Crystal Mall, only here in Las Vegas. They're both quite a rare line as well, so if you wanna check out those two lines, there's an opportunity to at the Crystal Mall. I have almost forgot one thing, speaking of exclusive line, at Sephora, back in Caesars Palace, so we're gonna backtrack a little bit. Back in Caesars Palace at the Sephora there, there's also the Givenchy niche line. Yes, Givenchy niche line is available at Caesars Palace at their Sephora location, all right? So that I think that covers every exclusive. Yeah, that, I think that covers every exclusive. We have Chanel, we have Dior, we have Salvatore Ferragamo, Armani Privé, YSL, Emergio Segna, Prada, Hermes, Victor and Rolf, and Dolce and & Gabbana. Yeah, 10 exclusive lines here in Las Vegas alone, it might be 11, I don't know, I forgot. But yeah, 10 exclusive line here in Las Vegas alone that you can check out. And it's the full line as well, there's none missing. Except for in the Prada niche line, there is one Dubai exclusive that's not available here, the rest of them are here. So yeah, you can try all the exclusive that you want to your heart's content here in Las Vegas. Just tons and tons of exclusive. The niche fragrances you'll find mainly at Skin 52 or Skin 62, or at Barney's New York, Saks Fifth Avenue, or Neiman Marcus. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you guys are ever here in Vegas, let me know if you guys need any recommendation for restaurants or something. I can help you somewhat. I, I really like the city. I love living here. Not only because I'm a frag head and I love the selection of fragrances here, it's just that it's just a wonderful city and I see tourists all the time. It's just awesome. Maybe I'll do a whole vlog about how much I love Vegas one of these days. But yeah, I hope you guys have enough selection of fragrances to check out when you guys are visiting here in Las Vegas for vacation or whatever you're here for. And with that said guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Peace out and bye Good morning guys. It's the next day now. I'm here to update you guys on my travels I just I forgot to do that last night for some reason. I think I was just really tired But I finally purchased my ticket to Milan. Yes, I'm going to the essence fair in Milan on April 24th to April 27th. So I'll be there for the event. I'll be walking around with Ashton from Jensen, Manny from Cascade Sand, Peter from Fragrance View, and loads of other creators are gonna be there. So if you guys can make it to that event, make sure that you do. It'll be really fun to meet up with you guys. And I've heard the event just has tons and tons of niche fragrances. Not only can you smell them, but you can also meet the brand owner so make sure to not miss out on this opportunity this is my first time going myself i missed out on last year which is really sad but i am gonna make it this year so if you guys can make it please do also as a reminder i am going to new york if you guys don't know yet my dates are going to be february 18th to february 20th those are the days you can meet up with me in new york city if you are going to be there if you are please let me know down in the comment section below or contact me through email as the days gets closer one last thing i started a discord server i've never used discord before but it's the first time i started a discord server um, I'll leave a link down in the comments below if you guys want to check that out you could I'll be online sometimes not too often I'm still trying to figure out the whole software But if you guys want to get on you guys could the link to the discord will be in the comments and with that said guys Thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you guys later on today with the most complimented video So stay tuned for that and yeah guys peace. Bye